Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prachapati and in this video, I will be telling you different ways to create a data frame in PySpark. Okay, so for, for this video, what I had done, so uh, till now that I created one, uh, one, you know, one CSV file and I stored in the DBFS, Databricks file storage, file system. Okay, so you can see, you know, this is the data. Uh, ID is a column and then we have, you know, these uh, numbers, these rows we can see and I have put this data into this location file store tables test underscore data underscore df dot csv. Okay. And then I created this table also and here also we have the kind of same data here we have, you know, uh, we have this nine present, right? And here we have the data till 8 so let me what what I do I, I just you know create it from 1 to 9 so let me run this again and let, let me run this again so all these these two things are files right this is file and this is the table I do not have a data frame so I am saying key how I can create a data frame correct so for that you know there are multiple ways and the first way is that and you know before going to this I would like to introduce my course which is based totally based on you know Delta Lake and Databricks and PySpark. So this is the course, you know, and uh, already you can see three, four, three members or students have en enrolled in this course. And this is all about the introduction. You can, you know, check it, check it out. And then this is the course curriculum. Totally, we are having a content of more, I mean, more than 18 hours and uh, 65 sessions. You can see syllabus of the course and then create a delta table and, you know, read a delta table, everything about the delta table with the help of PySpark, Spark SQL. In Databricks, and then we have in module two, which is a kind of an end to end project, and this covers almost 14 hours. Okay, so the architecture of the video, understand the requirement, and everything is present over here. So, if you think that if you are liking this video, you can even check out these courses and enroll into it. Now, let's go back. So, we have to create a data frame, right? So, if this is a CSV file, then how I how we can create a data frame simple write spark dot read dot format is csv dot load and here i will pass this right control c pass this path and here what i'll do i'll just write here df dot show So you can see this is this comes as this because I did not I did not mention a header is header two. So for that what I can do I can pass here header headers two. So now what will happen when it will read the file right? So it will consider first row as header. So ID will treat it as a as a column now. Now you can see we have ID and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 9, right? So these are the rows. Understood. Correct. So you can see now that ID is, you know, coming as a string. If you want to convert this, right? If you want to define your own schema, then you can define it. Otherwise, let it be also, right? Okay. Here, what I can do, I can also add option and then I can use infer schema option to infer the schema whether it is true or false so let me make it true for now you can see it is showing as you know uh, true i mean a string and if it if i make it false then it will not uh, read the uh, you know schema right so it will not read the schema from the you know from the backend and it, it treat as everything is a string so by default from the from the you know from the csv file this id is stored as a as a string that's why it is coming as like this so this is the one way to do right now suppose you have a table right suppose you have a table then how i how you can create a data data frame so you can write df is equal to spark dot read dot table spark dot table spark dot read table I guess this is right and here pass the table name so let me just copy it paste it over here and do the same thing df dot show
right? We have ID column and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? Correct. Now, what is the uh, what is the another way to uh, do the same thing to read the data from the table? Second, third way is that you know, or we can say a second way way is that use Spark SQL. Spark dot SQL. So, with the help of this, even though you can ignore this uh, Spark and you can also use SQL only, right? And you have to write here your SQL statement purely SQL statements. Select star from what the table name so test underscore data underscore table so just do this and hit the button right this is also done now if i am saying to create this data frame as a manual right so then how you can create you can create like spark df is equal to spark dot create data frame and then what you can do then you have to write like spark dot create data frame and here in data you know what we can write we can write like this one comma then two comma so you cannot like write like this uh, okay let me just scroll above and if i do this one comma two comma three comma okay comma four comma five comma six comma seven comma eight and comma nine okay all these are the different rows and put in i mean and uh, close this into one list right and then what i can do i can give a schema uh, since this is a simple thing so i can give like you know id int or you can also ignore it so by default it will take the take take i mean it will assign like you know underscore zero underscore one underscore two s as a schema and you know do the df dot show we'll see what what happens it is showing some error because the error is that we cannot define like this right so if you are only only showing a single uh, you know single uh, you know a single column then ideally you have to make a tuple with one one comma like this you have to right then only it will work now if i do a run then you will see that it is running right okay now this is a kind of you know a, a manual work suppose if you if you want to create only single column right and which like a kind of id or you know kind of something else then you will not wanna write like this suppose i if i need to write from 1 to 100 right one to one to another. So I'm not gonna write like one, two, three, four, five, and then adding comma, comma, comma every place, right? Instead, what you can do, you can use a range function. Okay, so what I can what I can say, you can use range function and give here some uh, you know uh, that range from one I need to start and goes till the nine. So that's why I have it in here 10. One extra value I we need to write it down. Just give a hit button. And then you can see it is coming like this. Now, if I am saying that in this, with the help of this only, you need to only show or you need to create a data frame for even numbers, right? So then I can you know uh, give here two, and here I can start from zero. So now you can see from zero, uh, two, four, six, and eight, it it is behaving the same thing, you know, uh, what uh, Python behaves, right? And that's why Python is needed to learn PySpark okay and if you want to make a odd number then you start from one and goes till the 10 and just put here one you know then you can see oh sorry sorry my bad hmm now you can see zero three six nine right also i can give i can start from one and instead of you know uh, I, I can give here 2. Now you can see 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So it is a kind of even number now. Sorry, odd, odd number now, right? So uh, you can also create a data frame with the help of uh, row sequence or you know with the help of uh, RDDs. 
right so those way also you can do so just i wanted to know i just wanted to tell the you know you can create a data frame on top of table also on top of file also on top of table on on top of files and you can also create it manually if it is needed for you like this okay so that's it for today's video and if you like this video i would suggest to go and check out my courses on my website which i have shown and even though i will give the link in the description box so that you can you know directly you know click on that and check out my courses it will definitely help you to build a real time project and you can also show this project or that project in your company or in your resume so thank you bye bye